from Musa. I understand from you that uh, you've been married for six years and she prays on and off or she skips some prayers. Uh, and since you already have a couple kids from her, I wouldn't advise you to leave her. Rather, my advice is to continue to advise her. And uh, if she is a local woman, perhaps talk to her family members, have people talk to her about the importance of the prayer. And that if she skips a single prayer deliberately, that's a major sin. And if she delays it from its fixed time, that's even uh, a major sin. Allah the Almighty says in Surah Maryam, فَخَلَفَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْفٌ أَضَاعُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَاتَّبَعُوا الشَّهَوَاتِ فَسَوْفَ يَلْقَوْنَ غَيَّةً He threatened those who postponed the prayer from its fixed time with a severe torment in hell in a valley which is called غَي according to some of the commentators of the Quran that is the meaning of غَي so there is a severe punishment in Surah Al-Ma'oon Allah the Almighty says فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ Woe to those who pray they pray sometimes and they are negligent of their prayers some other times so Allah threatened them with a the severe punishment and hell may Allah protect us and the last resort is to threaten her that if she does not pray on a regular basis, you will have to leave her. That's an option, but it shouldn't be the first nor the second. It should be the last resort. Because definitely the parents have to be on the same page in order to raise their kids properly and teach them their duties towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If any of the parents is negligent of their duties towards Allah, especially with the most important worship, which is the prayer, that would reflect on the behavior of their children as well. May Allah guide her and may Allah guide all of us. Assalamu alaikum.